practical this is this afternoon. Absolutely fantastic. Wonderful scene to see national pride being nationalistic. I've got a very good feeling in my bones that we're going to win this one. We've got a fantastic team and Kumuls all the way. Thank you, Minister. Have a great afternoon. It's going to be a spectacular event. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, too. Back to you, Api. As uh, the Prime Minister gives us his official kick. There we go. And he makes the mandatory 10 metres. Better than Cherry Evans on Friday night for some of you Manly fans out there. Here we go, getting ready, gearing up for kickoff. The Australians running left to right on your screens. And uh, it looks like it'll be Scotty Prince to kick off proceedings for this afternoon. The wind uh, in the first half behind the uh, PNG Kumuls. They'll really want to get off to a, uh, a safe set of six, Julian, off the kickoff. Yeah, they will. They want to get to their kick, um, get it down to the corners. And virtually play a tug of war the Australians because that's exactly what they'll do in return, the Australians. They'll wear them down, they'll wait for a mistake, and that's when they've got them. Here we go, the whistle blows, and it's a kickoff from Scotty Prince, taken safely by the Kumuls. And a bit of uh, disorganization there off that first ruck. They need to make amends and come back with some uh, better options. There's uh, our fullback today for the Kumuls, sorry, the Prime Ministers, 13 of Papua New Guinea, Josiah Abavu. Takes the first ruck up. Three for On the third tackle, yeah. we find our oh, way yeah. out, and we're about 30 meters out from the Kumuls line. Moving back to the left hand side. And a committed run oh, up no. the middle Four. from some of the big guns. Yeah. Right. Go. Filetti. As we cut back inside, finding an inside runner. A lot of emotion there, but a strip yeah. called from the ref. First penalty goes the way of. The PNG Prime Minister's 13. Julian, what do you make of that start? A bit disorganised. Exactly right. It, it was disorganised, but maybe that's what the Kumuls needed, uh, Api. Number 11, as I said, in the back row. That's where the strength's going to come. Running hard and, and taking it to the Australians. That man, of course, David Locker. And uh, Julian did mention before the break that it's the back row for Papua New Guinea. That's their strength. And that is a beautiful touch finder. Finding play about 20 metres away from the Australian team. PNG's first use. It's another great run by Loco. And a beautiful run by David Loco. Right. Definitely right. Wabo's in at dummy half. Wabo looking for a runner. He finds Tali. Tali with a nice run. Aaron, Aaron, team Dumped up down again, unceremoniously by the Australian team on the second tackle. Wabo there, dummy half. Looking for inside runners. Wait, wait. Finds Glenn Three. Nami. Skipper for today for the Prime Minister's 13. What a big match it is for him. Wabo goes right. He finds his halfback. His halfback is Eliab from the Couriers. Cleaned up in the there, end there one. by the Aussies through fullback Darius Boyd. As the Australians Move. work it out Go. through their wings, three quarters. Tim Manor. That's great bring, defense by the Kumuls. Bring the play up and on the third tackle, up there. Australia find themselves Go. on their 10 meter line and struggling to come out. Four, up, Spirited up, run up. there by yeah. Wade Graham of the uh, Cronulla Sharks fame. Go. In a dummy half with a big job ahead of him. Kevin Kingston looking now for Five, these big boppers and he back, finds Aaron Woods who brings play up White. to the 30 meter mark White. on the fifth tackle. Scotty Prince with the ball now. He looks to clear. Doesn't get much uh, ground on this kick That's and it's taken nicely there in brilliant field position for the for the Prime Minister's 13 of PNG on the Aussies 40 meter line. And on the first tackle, they'll find their, their, themselves 38 meters out from the Aussie team and a brilliant attacking opportunity for the boys. Wob was in a dummy half again. Big run here by the big bopper, Rodney Pora. They'll need to call on his experience today. And he keeps his legs pumping in each other. The crowd love it. He finds his way 25 meters out from the Australian team. Wabo in a dummy half. The back rowers again. The Australians at the moment bit shell-shocked, I think, as the back row. And uh, through Glenn Nami, skipper for today, gets uh, another penalty. You think they'll go for two, Julian? Well, I wouldn't go for two. They've got the pressure on, they've got the wind. They can always get a repeat set, and that's building pressure. Yeah, go for two, you let the pressure off, and you've got to bring it out from your own line. That's, that, that's exactly that's what they do. And again, the back row, the powerhouse in Lassen Marave pumps up the first run. 
The PNG boys are very spirited. They're here to play. They're not here to compete today. Richard Campbell the ball, takes the settler in second. About 10 meters away from the center uprights. Wobble. Wobble looking wide. Plenty of numbers out here for PNG team. Iwate comes up and makes a telling held tackle. It, held it. It's great hands by uh, Josh Ayer too, the fullback. Yeah, Josh Ayer, Drag it back, drag it back. Takes play, center right aside down. at the moment. Go. Wobble's got options right and left. He goes right. He finds the captain, Nami, again. Nami, ball. only about three meters from the try line. Looking left. He comes left. Dion Aye. They're finding Five gaps runs. out there, but they're not really controlling the ball. Five, last one. And on the fifth tackle, last one now, Tim. they're about four meters out. Ball's there again. The Couriers halves really working it here. The ball's a ball on the ground. Australian knock on. Lock Australian on. knock on. Lock Dion on. Aye with that nice little grubber in under the post. Goal line. Yeah, that Jason Tali uh, that feeling a bit of the nerves, good. maybe overrunning the play a bit as his halves try to give him the ball with a bit of space today. And uh, all the pressure on the Aussies at the moment. Scotty Prince just settling his team down. Line drop, but not big because of this massive wind that's here at the PRL. Backwards. Still play on or backwards. PNG got to get hungry for that loose ball. Up now, Ben! Get but on the uh, here, first tackle, they're 28 right. meters out from Come the Aussie mate. line. Wabo in again. Now, a hit up Two. with Urakuse. Wait, wait. Urakuse, of Go. course, having a great year with the Lahanis this year. Close. Nami Three. again with go. a nice little here now. Here now. Uh, run up off the hip of Wabo, off the right hand side. They go right again. Here we go. The zippy into the number oh, seven, yes. Eliab. He's in fantastic form and he's here to play this afternoon. I tell you what, they come left again. Nami, Nami finds Aye again. Aye with a high pass and he throws a speculator which is intercepted by Scotty That's Prince and now, that takes now, the now, pressure Glenn. right off Australia. Who will look to work things out and work the ball out of the 20 meter line which they do successfully now. Move. now. On it's second James tackle, Glenn. Darius go. Wood, 25 meters out. Aaron Woods, nice little hit up off the left hand side. He's got his arms free, looking Move. for runners. Three. 40 meters take out back, on the third tackle. Oh, no. Options right. left and right, center go. aside. Prince is left, but they cut Prince out and they go straight to Coote. Coote finds Jennings, the Penrith combination working this afternoon. Lost. Lost. That's Every exactly what today. the Kummels needed, Uppy. They need another mistake. This time they've got to keep building the pressure and not give away. Easy ball to the Australians. They just made 40 yards and three tackles there. Eh? Yes. Uh, take our time with these. Eh? We're, take we're our very time. good in our offense. We just got to keep the uh, push till defense it's in. nice and tight. As uh, Jennings. Wait till it's in. Wait till it's in. Looking to uh, build a good set down. of six out of their out of their yards. They they made uh, 40 meters off three tackles, as you said, Julian. But uh, the knock on will uh, give the PNG team the ball back around the halfway now, mark. Not? But. Uh, with uh, both Can sides of the field to attack on. Just hold the weight, wait till it's in. Ben. PM 13. Wait. Go. What do they have up their sleeves now, now. this afternoon? Nami. Nami sends it out. They got the back rows in the back line this afternoon. Quite an interesting, the scrum. Quite an interesting thing there. Chris it's Lawrence is starting wait. at number four. He's on the bench. Wait. So Mal's gone for Go. size. Second row of um, lock in the centres just to stop the PNG uh, go forward. It's quite a smart play by Go. Coach Meniga. Yeah, there we go, and here we go with some more big runs here, so and uh, that's in the in shape now. of David Loco, who's Good been fantastic wait. in the opening uh, five minutes of this game. Running into each other a bit, but Rodney Poorer brings Four. play up about Four. the 28-meter mark away from the Aussie team. Wabo's right. got options right and left. He goes right, and he finds a big run Down by Ura Kuse. Looking wide. Wait. Wabo looking up. Foot. Nice little grabber in, find space, Eliab, but unfortunately too much, too much power on that one and uh, a relieving 22 meter tap, 20 no, no, meter no. tap for the Aussie team and Bo Ryan will look to try and get into this game. He's a crowd favorite, I tell you, uh, everywhere around Moresby that he went, he uh, had supporters, but today, uh, Oh. Not too many friends on the field, and he gets greeted with a big hit there on his first run of the afternoon. Oh, as we've got uh, Tim Manor pumping the ball Good. up, 38 out. Looking left, Coote. Coote's looking for Jennings. He finds Jennings. Jennings with a bit of space to move down there. 
And he finds play about 35 Three meters out from the PNG line. Hold, Glenn. Go, mate. Ozzy would be good on the fringes. They'd be looking to get the ball there. Second man play here. They find Prince. Prince has got options both sides. Darius Boyd comes up into the line. He's got space out wide. yuate has got the ball at the moment. He'll be hard to stop. But the PNG boys do a great job. Drag it back, drag it Pulling back, him down was Keep David Loco. A few meters out from the line. Not very easy to do. Prince with a grubber in. Looking for his support play. And I think they're over. 23 is Filetti Mateo. First points of the day and against the run of play pretty much. But Scotty Prince with a nice little neat grubber. Finds Filetti Mateo running through. And he scores about four or five meters away from the right hand. Upright too easy, Julian O'Neill. Well, that's what the Australians do. Fast play the ball, they get off the ground, they go forward. Nothing fancy. See there on the left-hand side, Lachlan Coop. All he did is run at the line in numbers and speed. The Kumbles just couldn't react in time, and all of a sudden they're over the other side of the field. Bang, they're scored in one minute. Yeah, uh, they're, they're beating us on the fringes out, the, out, out wide, and uh, the boys have got to jam in and, and stop him. But uh, not managing to do that. The second man play really caught them napping, and of course the evasion of uh, Darius Boyd, uh, to, to draw a couple and uh, slip that pass away from Uate and he was scrambling defense all the way after that. Scotty Prince with a neat little deft kick there and Filetti Mateo Johnny on the spot. Stevie D, how's things down on the sideline? Hi, I hope you can hear me at all. You're on, Stevie. Okay, well, it's, it's been an interesting opening uh, stance of play. The Papua New Guinea is uh, very patient in the opening patches and Australia a bit under pressure. They drew the first penalty, they're on the try line. Under pressure, yep. but they sustain that pressure, and all of a sudden, Paul Ayton, they just turn things around, and they're open for the first points of the match. I mean, that, that's what Australia—that's what Australia can do. Uh, they can turn little things into something. But I tell you what, Papua New Guinea—the the first two sets, they, they did really well. Uh, I, I, I like to praise uh, Rodney Porter. I thought he—I thought he plays amazing. He's, he's just led by example for many years, and he's still leading by example. And David Loco is, I think, one to watch. Okay, so the attempt from Scott Prince, Prince is successful. That's 6 0. Happy, how much do you reckon this first half breeze in favor of the Papua New Guinea is going to be in their favor? Yeah, they need to. The problem is, Stevie, they need to use that breeze. Um, uh, it's been an advantage for them because the Australians are finding it hard to clear the ball out of the line. But uh, the Papua New Guinea team really have to take advantage of this big win that they've got behind Stay them behind. in the first half because uh, it'll be against them in the second. So the boys look to restart play. Still look a bit disorganized for my liking. They've got a lot of uh, opportunities there to mount some great pressure, but uh, still look a bit disorganized as the kick gets underway. Looking for runners on the side, and he's, he picks up number 15 One. with a fresh Move. pair of back, legs. Is Martin Come on, Kennedy. Charlie. Wait now. Go. Kennedy of uh, the Roosters from the Roosters in the NRL competition. Second hit up this afternoon. Play on. Comes from there Dan Hart and gets a nice little slip off. And there's options everywhere. Jennings, he's in space. They won't stop him. He's a speedster, Michael Jennings. And it's exactly what the Papnikinians didn't want off this. The next set of six after a try. And uh, in three tackles, Aussie's underneath the post. Michael Jennings too fast. And it all happened a bit too quick for the PNG boys, Julian. Yeah, it was. It was a great, uh, great hit up by Dan Hunt. He got the ball away. As halves do, Lachlan Coop was there on the spot. Then a three on two, Jennings away. Once that kid's in space, you're not going to stop him. Michael Jennings, you ever wondered how fast he is? Well, you got a chance to see him. 20,000 strong Papua New Guinea crowd watching Michael Jennings there fly away. And no one in front of him. He was a uh, good night nurse. Thanks, mate. Score now 10 0 <coughs> in favor of the uh, Australian Prime Minister's 13, who weathered an early storm by uh, PNG. And uh, comfortable at 10 nil after about uh, as many minutes. Stevie D on sideline. Yep, uh, interesting how the Australians have been very patient. A few uncharacteristic er uh, errors early on, but they've, uh, they've held their composure and they just responded with two quick tries. The kind of football you'd expect of them, Paul, but uh, probably getting now with their backs against the wall, with the parochial crowd behind them, they really have to be the next to put post to post points on the board. As Scott Prince's conversion is successful for 12 nil lead. I'll tell you what, I'm very good. Um, I've, I've, I've actually had the, I was fortunate enough to play with him as, as he was at number one. He played fullback, but seeing, seeing him at number six, uh, he's there when he needs to be. He's there at the right time, and you know, you, you create your own luck, and uh, you know, he's, he's playing really well.
Paul, who do you think is going to turn the tide for Papua New Guinea and put us back in this match? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm looking at David Logo. I'm t I, I think he is, he is definitely one to watch. He's very, he's, he's rough. He's, he's, he's one to watch. Look, he's, he's involved right now. One, and after now, kickoff, wait, wait, the wait, uh, Australians wait. get driven back to Go. their 10 meter mark. They'll bring the ball up left. So coming up, up through. Drag it back and wait. Hold Kennedy, down. I think it is. Glenn. Yep, Go, Kennedy. They shoot off left Two. and they find oh, Mateo. No, Mateo the on the third tackle. Wait. The 22 meter Go. mark. And if uh, offloads are plenty today, they'll have to watch Mateo. Bentio with the. Uh, yeah, drag it back. One of his trademark right runs now. on the inside. Yep. Met in a nice tackle by uh, David Loco. Rodney Pora. They've oh, really got to no! slow this play the ball down, the PNG Five. team. And not allow Marcus. Australia to play their natural game the way they want to play. Lachlan Kuda on the left hand side. Find space. What both wingers back here. Look at the chase from Australia, Rappy. Yeah. Up One in a straight man. line. Straight making, line. Yeah. Making life very difficult for Albert Patak. Go today I think it's his debut match <laughs> unceremoniously picked up and dumped by Ben Tio was last in Marabe Three. as the PNG team now, wide. Wide. look to uh, make inroads up the center of the ruck not too much angles Ooh. or side running but uh, there's some wide. big collisions there from the Australian team looking to probably uh, put down their ascendancy as the kick comes back, Yuate, the crowd go wild. He's a crowd favorite, and he brings the ball back strong. One, and on uh, the Wait first, up. they find themselves about 32 meters yep. out. Scotty Prince in the dummy half. Lawrence to take a quick hit up, settling play down. Mark is up here. 38 meters out as uh, we have some running on, interchanges, and uh, Mateo comes off for Josh oh, Maguire dead. taking his first yep. hit up. The work out of. Uh, Dummy half by Keith Dennis has been good. Prince, Prince with a second man play, finds Kud. Kud finds Boyd. Boyd with a bit of space. Very evasive. Dragon and he back, finds himself back, tackled. Claimed on the 35 meter mark. Ryan, Ryan now, with a surging run. Finding play out at about the 30 meter mark. Kud's got this nice wind behind him if he can uh, use it. But unfortunately the ball comes back a bit. Uate's in space now. They'll have to do well to try and stop him. And they do a fantastic job. Uate, no slouch. But the PNG boys contain him. Well done to Josiah Ababu. Playing in front of this big crowd. He wasn't going to let Uate get away, I must admit. I did think he was going to get away for a little while there, Julian. Yeah, he's certainly fast. He's a speedster for Australia. But don't take nothing away from Josiah, the fullback um, for the Cornwalls. He's an exciting talent too. Here we go. The wing is coming in to help out, and that's Albert Patak. I liked his involvement in the early stages of this match. Just look at the Australians, Zappi, getting off the line. They're meeting him on the advantage line. That's what the Kummels aren't doing. They're all getting off the line here. That's what the Kummels have to do. That's right. Wabo, Wabo goes right again, looking for his big forwards to get some meters, but the meters are hard to come by this afternoon. Wait. As the Aussies are up for the challenge. Dummies right, goes to the left. Sorry, dummies left, goes right. There's space out there. Here the big boppers come up. Damn, last one. 45 yeah, meters man. out on fifth tackle. PNG team. They go right. They find Eliab. Eliab with a uh, driving kick down. Finds Ryan. Ryan bringing the ball back out. But he's claimed oh, no. in the center of the park this afternoon. Boyd. Boyd with a quick run dominant out of dummy half but the dominant yeah. tackle by Larson Marabe stops him in his tracks Richie. about 25 meters out yeah. on the third tackle Ryan comes up for his Three. second hit up of the yeah, kicks it in at dummy half finds Prince on the right right there finds Tio Tio is picked up and he's put down hard by Dion Aye and he forces a loose ball loose carry that's what the PNG team need that's exactly right. They need to put the pressure on now. Get the Australians down here and work them over. The Aussies are quick off the line. The uh, PNG team would be good to uh, incorporate some second man plays, a couple of sweeping runners. To try and get around this team who, uh, when they compress, are very hard to get through, aren't they? Well, they are. What, what, what the PNG uh, halves have to do 
it's all good putting these plays on, but they have to do it at the line. They're doing it five minutes before the line. The Australians can adjust. Here we go. More evidence of that with all this play happening behind the scrum. Wait, move. Here now, yep, a, They've got to run up and good. commit the defence, and that's what they're not doing at the moment. A pick up and Two run from five. dummy half yep. on the second play. Yeah, the PNG team are about uh, 25 yep. metres out now. Go. They've had most of the running in the early stanzas, but uh, don't have any points to take away with them to score at the moment. 12 mil in favour of the Aussie team. Get up, mate. And referee this afternoon penalising the Australians for holding down, slowing down the Stevie D on the sideline with the comments. Good luck, Tara. Uh, pretty good in these opening passages. They've, they've held the composure and the handling rate has, has been pretty good, Paul, and that's uh, up surprising. Up and it, back it's back it's back a good positive for the boys, and I think there's probably oh, some points on the board for us here. Yeah, I think it's really good that uh, Dionaya has actually stepped up. Um, he hits just like a front rower, oh, and he's probably one of the hardest mate. hitting uh, halves that I've ever played or against. And uh, here we go. Oh. Well so we've moved down the uh, left-hand side here. They've always found space on this side of the park. Marabe almost, uh, Zero. sorry, look, almost finds his way over, but unfortunately he's stopped there in his tracks by the Aussie team, and the ball, loose ball, is claimed by Uate as Tio tries to run the ball out on the second tackle. The Aussies are stuck in their corner. Only about three metres out. Slow play the ball, but they find space now. Kut. Release two. On the third tackle, eight meters out still. Come with Struggling the short to get the out of the 20, but they're short on the side. Jennings, Jennings with a bit of space. They gotta get up quickly and shut him down. Marabe sweeping on that right hand side. There's another surging run by Ryan. Best run of the set finds play. 32 meters out from the Aussie line. They look to run it late. And a nice tackle there. Cleaned up. Matthew Puke on Lachlan Coot. Ryan, Ryan looks for space play down on. the sideline. Play on, play on! And a loose pass is claimed. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Thank you. By the PNG team through Richard Campbell. What? Up now! Up from dummy half. Money. Find their way back. Yep. 32 meters out. They've got to they stop need, running one out. <coughs> they need to stop running one out. They need to uh, Here we are now, go mate. back to some of their structure. To find a way to penetrate this Aussie team that. Uh, there we go with those second man plays we're talking about. There's a bit of space out here on the left hand side. And in and away, he beats Uate. He's got space, but the Aussies come back nice to hurt him down. Albert Patak doing very well. He's troubling Uate on this side. Dion That's finds a surging run. This is what they've got to do. They've got him backpedaling at the moment. Quick play the balls. They need to get him. Now, Nami. Nami looking wide. We've got numbers out wide. There we go. A quick try, Cobbles. Oh, well done. Great Cobbles. hands by Richard Campbell. Yeah, beautiful hands by Richard Campbell. Fights. Matthew Puke in the corner for the PNG team. Stevie D, what a reply from the PNG team. Well, a response from the PNG Prime Minister stating Paul Atten very timely. They need to be next on the scoreboard, and they've done just that. They have done the job. They have done unbelievably well. Dion I, eh? I tell you what, I've been watching him, and he's, I've been playing with him for several years, and he's grown as a player. He is commanding those boys around the field. He's telling them where they need to go, and he's finishing it. They've got a good communication line happening here for the PNG Prime Minister's 13. They've got to go for it. They've got, instant, they've got a bit of incentive. They can slip. There's something with the can't see, but I tell you what, the exchanges we were expecting are happening. Ben Teo had a bit of a drop of shoulder into the PNG public inside. The guys responded, popped up a penalty a couple of sets back. And they're really into this match now. I'll be, I'll tell yeah. you what, Steve, this next set is going to be the most important set. They have to finish. They have to finish. They have to get to their kick. They have to kick well, chase, and they're going to finish well. Stevie, if, uh, we'll get you to go and check on Ben Teo, who's got some ice on his shoulder. Uh, as the PNG team line up to take this conversion, we're the score at the in. moment is 12 points we're to four. In or we back him out? Yeah, I'll, I'll send um, in. Paul Hayden, he's the fitter guy amongst us to go and check on Ben Teo. But I tell you what, if he's got ice on his we shoulder, he should have ice on his whole body. There was four men in the he's collision. My name, I'm just giving him time straight. He's got to hit that side. And uh, that's how the PNG boys have got to do it. They've Here got a, go, a couple comes. of sweeping second man oh. plays around, finding some space on the left hand side as the kick is waved away. They quickly shuffle the ball back to the right hand side and they found spaces on the edges, Julian. Yeah, well, uh, D on the 5 8 started taking plays to the line. Short ball to um, uh, Enoch Mack. 
Got the Australians on the back foot. Quick play the ball, pass, pass, score. It's not hard. Yeah, and uh, they can put that down to Richie Campbell. He's uh, really oh, nice magic hands. hands out wide. Magic hands out wide. Score now. 12 points to four. Scotty Prince kicking off proceedings again. Ball goes straight on the wing. And it's a try score again. Okay. Puke with a run up, finds the PNG Prime Minister's 13, about 25 meters out. Kevin! The help. boys now Matt. out of their Matt. corner. Nathan! On the second. They need to go forward on, in the middle Nathan, of the park, and they've got the big boys in the middle trying to do that at the moment. Inside. And a nice kick, looking for a 20, 40 20 a 40, opportunity. 20. And it certainly is. It's about a 40 12. Well done. Nice surging kick there, and I think it was your man again, Dion. Ah, yeah, and... Uh, That's a perfect reply to, that, to their try. Now they're yeah. on the attack again. Yeah, Paul Leighton spoke about the need to uh, complete this set of six well, and they've done one better. They've got the ball back, and uh, they're using this win. This is what we spoke about earlier, using the win to their advantage, and this is what they're doing. And what the PNG team have to do is they've got to keep the crowd in, because... Uh, the crowd will intimidate this Aussie team, the visit, visiting team from uh, Australia, of course. Keep it back. Uh, when the, the score was 12-0, they were pretty quiet, but they're back yeah, into it. Straight in, straight out. Here we go, Eliab, defeat the scrum. Out, out. Out, Nami. Nami, Dion. Dion goes right, he finds Marabe. Marabe's played a bit of centre in his what? day. Up now, He's got some good hands on Wait him. Here. Wait. On, on his 17, uh, who's uh, Watovo, Puara. He's come on here. Campbell, Campbell, Campbell's caught with the ball now. He plays it. Puara, Puara goes left. At least they're running at the line now. Yeah, now Matt, Matt, the defence think. Good work for Liddy. He's got him playing a bit flat, flatter. It's a mangle running here. Go Second man play again. Here we go, but they go for the short run with Loco. But unfortunately, Loco pushes the pass. First one off you. Second one. No, 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 no. Good hit. It was a good shot. And uh, you heard it from the referee there. Good hit, good shot. Oh, lucky, mate. And the ball gets jolted. I really think they needed to cut him out and go at the back because that's where they're finding success. But they've opted for the shorter play. And David Loco, all he had to do was hold on to that. He tried to push the pass, be a bit adventurous. And the uh, Aussies rattled him in that tackle and the ball came spilling out. Thanks, so uh, there's panic stations a bit there for the green and gold. Have a spell, gents. Just have a breather. But as they did, they composed themselves. Referees called... Uh, a breather and normally happens around the 20 minute mark during the uh, prime minister's clashes because of the heat and the difference with the humidity they allow the outside, players to outside, Tim. hydrate a bit more hold the way gents something Here it pretty comes. unique to uh, this clash out. as prince feeds feletti mateo pumps the ball out he One. finds Uade center aside on the first tackle kickstands in a dummy half a slow play the ball and he finds a surging Move. run there from Drag Josh Maguire off the bench, who had a pretty good season for the Broncos this year. And all you Broncos fans, there's, uh, Jason, Jason. there's about Three. two of yeah. your players here in this team this afternoon. Oh, 15, you're short, mate. Aaron 15. Woods plays the ball. Kingston comes right. He finds Prince. Prince pumps it down, but this wind will hold the ball up. And he'll be claimed by Patak, about 43 bang, bang. meters away from his line on the zero tackle. Abavu Two, runs it Take up it to back. the 50 meter mark on the first. Thank you. Puara is in a dummy half. Nice flat pass, Three. finding a good run by Mark Mexico. Very good. Puara in again. He's got his team moving forward, which is what they failed to do in the uh, opening stanza. Four. Up, and a up. nice run brings play in up now. to about the 30 meter mark. He's got options both sides again. He goes right. He finds Nami. Nami with a little half goose Five. step. Quick play the ball. Puara is in there the again. He's sniping. He's looking left, looking right. He goes himself. Unfortunately, on the fifth tackle, gets Dixon swallowed up by the there, Aussie wait, wait. defense. Needed to get rid of that ball. Needed to try and uh, set up another repeat set of six. Aussies work their way out. This time, big what? frame Move. of Ryan Matthew. Glenn. Of the Parramatta Eels. Jennings. Jennings picks it up. Offloads to Mateo. Mateo looking Fly to get on. that hand free. He does. He gets a ball away, but it's claimed by the PNG team through halfback. Eliab. 
Eliabs and uh, Dion, the Gurriers have Bayon. Johnny on the spot today. But unfortunately, that ball put down by Matthew Puke. Yeah. And uh, Aussie's relieving. Yeah. Aaron Woods claims that ball. Kingston, Kingston finds Mana. Mana gets an offload of Prince. Prince, this space out here, he finds Teal. Teal looks to put a step on. Very impatient in front of his coach, Mel Meninga. He won't be happy with that. Uate was there, but uh, not three meters in front of him. And Stevie D has got a comment on sideline. Yes, sir. We had a check up on uh, Ben Teal. Uh, what is the report hey. that you get from the Australian's bench? Uh, I can blow three 0 well, penalty camp. Uh, you blokes can't uh, hold the ball. That's I went and had a chat with Ben Teal, and he said uh, all he said was "I'm sore," and he said a few other words. But hey, but I tell you what, the key, to, the key to this game, <laughs> as you saw, Charlie Wabba had, had a scoot on uh, last play. Heads in, let's go. That's not a bad option. Josh. They should, they should, they should be going right up the middle. They should be scooting. They should be playing very fast with the forwards because the Australians they're the not used to the sun right, and they're going to get tired. One. There, there you go. go from the horse's mouth, the man go. that's been on that track oh, many now. times and has been with a lot of these players. Go. Paul Aiton, starring on the sidelines for the first time. Marabe on the first Josh. hit up. And now uh, Richie Cambo brings play 32 metres out. Puara again with that awesome service from Great yards for the Kumu. Great um, yards again. Great yards. Mohokule done well. They need this quick play of the balls and they need Puara to get them going straight. Whoa. Big collision there. Enoch Maki, the crowd enjoyed that. They the love end. the collision. Welcome to Test Football, Enoch. Puara finds Dion. Dion's been good. Second man play again. He finds a cut back in on the uh, left hand side, and Jason Tali is claimed. And the referee's picked Scott. up the penalty here. Scott! He's got to get. Scott. And the uh, tackle was a bit high. The PNG team are running a lot of attack this way, but they're not really threatening to break this line. They need to uh, penetrate a bit more this uh, defense, Julian. Probably a little bit of straightening up. Happy? They just need to straighten up on the line. You know, it's all great to do these plays, but they're still running sideways. Just straighten up and make the Australians think a bit. Mohokule with a run up on the first tackle. Here we go, Maki. He loved his first hit up. He drives over the line, Whoa. but he's held up. Mark is here to play. He wants to make sure the Aussies know his number. Dion. Dion with a sweeping play. Goes at the back. He finds uh, Mohokula again. A lanky back rower. Come on, Aaron. Hit it, hit it. Puara good, 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 good. gets back into dummy half. He's got him going right. Eliab with a step on the change of pace. Player, player, how now? Held. Four. Called held finally. Puara. He comes left. Gotta go at the line here. A bad pass here. Back with Maki. Kule up trying to get rid of his opposite. They need a repeat here, Appy. Get another set against the Australians. Definitely what they need on the fifth tackle. A nice little grabber in. Exactly where they need it to be. Boyd looking to get out. That's beautiful play by the Kumuls. And uh, just what the doctor ordered. A repeat hey, set I'm of six. Awesome That's stuff enough. here. That's enough. Stevie D on sideline. Repeat set of six. Come run. Aussies uh, under the pump a bit here. Maybe the heat's getting to them a bit at the moment. Let's go, Lachlan. I think it's just pressure football. The Kumuls are actually putting their hand up and running at the line and making the Australians think. That's what they've got to do. Uh, Puara has been good off the bench. Getting the boys going forward. Here we go. I think a knock Mackie since coming on has lifted him lift to Kumuls a, a massive gear. Certainly right. has. The wingers come in to take some of the workload off. Matthew Puka here Michael! finds play about 15 meters yeah, away. Good, good, good. And the uh, PNG team are in brilliant uh, position. Three, and up. about Five, eight four. meters away from the try line. With big options on the left hand side. They come this way. Dion's got the ball now. Yeah! Nice pass. But Uate comes up and meets him and forces the mistake. As he catches Patak, who didn't get probably the best service that he could have from his center. But he uh, hit that ball up with aggression. And Uate was good enough to read, rush up, and force that mistake Stevie on the sideline. Yeah, yeah Api, there's, uh, there's a big following in the crowd here. Nothing like seeing a Melanesian brother in the Green and Gold jersey on the public. Aquila 
Uate, uh, Kulo the Leave Tuna, more, he's got a big following here. They're just waiting for something spectacular <laughs> from him. Let's have a rest. Have Brighton, well. Everyone in the green well, just has something to offer. Just as Let's much go, as they get into. The Aussies are running a lot of interchanges, boys. Straight out. Uh, too bad he's playing for Fiji. Out, out, out. Oh, Australia. But, um, you know what, our boys are handling pretty well, I think. Because uh, One, Josiah, Josiah took him out earlier on and they handled it very well. Here we go, looking for a big hit. Comes right across the park, Mark Mexico. But they won't, they're not stopping this man. Two, drag it back! With a drag nice, back. nice hit up there by Dan Hunt. Go. 28 meters out, the Aussies working their way through Filetti Mateo. Mateo finds a nice little cute offload Here now. on the left hand side. Richard. Josh, let it go. And, uh, Richard, Stapleton. Richard, Richard. Just stay off his head, mate. Stapleton with a nice little hit up on the left hand side and forces the penalty. 18 men sides in these Prime Minister's 13 clashes. And a couple more interchanges, I think. Aussies are rolling through him. Prince comes right. He finds a uh, spirited run Here by now. Martin Here. Kennedy. Kennedy Hold. now about 35 Go. meters out from uh, the PNG team. Mateo, Mateo looking for get that right hand free. Jennings gets that pass. And on the left hand side, Bo knows how to score a try this afternoon at the PRL. And he improves the position, brings it underneath the post. And he gives the crowd a bit of doggies. Crowd love that. 16 points to four. Too easy, Julian. It just is. A little right hand pass by Matteo. I should imagine Adrian Lamb should have done his homework on that right hand pass and tried to defend against it. Jennings in space. Bayron's a great finisher in the NRL. Six points. Six points on the sideline. Stevie D, any comments? Well, we're just a bit dumbfounded. The PNG had them camped on the Australian line for a long time. The Australians not really faced by what was happening. They enjoyed the exchanges uh, between the forwards and then they, they just bided their time and all of a sudden an opportunity presents itself and Australia will always capitalise and that's something Paul Atten that Papua New Guinea has to be aware of all the time throughout the full 80 minutes. You cannot give uh, a side like Australia any sniff of anything. Uh, they're too good of a, they're too good of a players. They, they, you know, they they do this week in week out. They get paid very, very, very good money to do that. So Papua New Guinea cannot give them any chances. Julian, it's a bit worrying that it only takes one offload to break this PNG team, and uh, as soon as they get into space, they're very hard to stop these boys. And of course, Jennings speed there and good enough to find. Ryan on the side who uh, finishes as well as anybody else in the NRL. Oh, exactly right. I mean, it's been a topsy-turvy game, you know, end-to-end -end -end play. Kummels have had their chances and dropped the ball. The Australians, when they get their chance, they score tries. That's the difference. It's not through lack of effort. I think in, in certain stages, the Kummels have played out outstanding football. But it's just that one drop that gives them a sniff. That's right, and uh, that's the uh, quality of the Australians. Give them an opportunity and they'll put points on you. I feel, you know, my biggest concern in this first half with the win behind the Papua New Guinea team's team is that uh, Australia is posting points Run. into the wind. Up. And I tell you what, that's uh, wait, guys, wait. It's a worrying factor Go. about uh, how this match could unfold come the 18 minutes. Certainly is, and Australia oh, pumping the ball out. Up now, 17 off! 32 metres out Go. from their line, and they're making yards easy on the fourth tackle. They find themselves about 50 out. But they've dropped Marty, the ball. Marty, Scotty help. Prince is not happy as uh, Zero. Aussies were building a lot of pressure there. This is where the Kummels need to spread out. They're two bunched in attack. That means the Australians will condense their defense one, as well. They need to spread then. out and work for something. You know. You're right there. And, uh, too much one-up stuff at the moment. Here we go. Sione with a big run. He breaks That's through the great run. tackle. Straight up now. Awesome Darren is wide off. He needs a quick play the ball here. But the experience of the Aussies slowed right down. Dion. Dion with options on the... Both sides. Held it, held it. Jason Tully almost bowled that ball. Here we go. Dion again. Dion goes right, finds Nami. Oh. Nami dummies with a short pass. Three, Josh! And I think the fullback was through. Could have given it. Puana goes right. He finds Eliab. But these passes are oh. a bit wayward at Here the moment. Now. They're not in front. Oh, They're Dan, not giving the uh, PNG guys good front football. Here we go. Sipping back on the left. Dion finds Marabe. Oh. Marabe with a step inside. And he drops the ball as he had uh, the line in front of him. Knock on. 
Wasn't that a great opportunity for uh, Papa De Guinea? Marabe stepping left, right, it was uh, looking no, like no, he's going to pet this ball under the post, and all of a sudden it comes. And uh, just a bit unlucky, Paul, but uh, this is the way like the I game said, rolls. Like I said, training, he's got to keep it on his chest. It's very disappointing. I mean, uh, little things like that, we we, we got to execute. You know, we, we, it lets us down every year. You know, it, you know. Wait there, wait there, guys. We, no we, ball. We, we, we capitalise on it every year. Here we go, back You're to up, play, buddy. and uh, the Aussies we go, with a sigh of relief. Here we go, Glenn, bring them together. As, uh, the boys Out. put the ball down, right in front of the post. Another big run by Ben Teo, finds play. Oh no, Mark is off! 15 minutes yeah, out yeah, from yeah, the yeah. Aussie team's line. Go. Come back, right. Two, nice run. Dragon He's back, good this back, afternoon. back, Martin back! Kennedy. Go. Teo again, gets in. Three off there, tackle. get square! Come on, come on, 14, out. 14. Space up the middle, Kingston finds Mateo. Up now, four! Too quick luckily, to for the the, too quick. Yeah, luckily for the PNG team, we caught down by Marabe. The local, pumped. He just ran into a train. Five. Drag it just ran into a train. Come on Here back. Here we go. They're making ground too easily on this side. Prince looks right. He finds uh, Jennings. Jennings looking to push away from players, but they've stopped him on the fifth. And when the Aussies get into this frame of mind where they just want to attack, it's dangerous stuff for the PNG team. I tell you what, I you know the most dangerous One. fact at the moment up. is that bodies in motion. Oh, Australia, no, they're absolutely looking cut up and fast and strong. They're, they're very quick. And the body is in motion that's confusing the PNG defense. Back, Scott. When PNG is in attack, they're not doing the same thing, Paul, so they're really going to step back into the game plan. I agree 100%. Um, come, come. I, as I said before, we need to Three. run right up the middle. Except, we need to get a forward, we need to scoot. We, we, our strongest... Our strongest. Here we go. Right, we bring it back down the play. Let's look. Look, it pushes up. He finds Dion Ayi. He, and they put play up 20 four. meters out with a brilliant opportunity. They need a quick play the ball, but they're not getting it. Come on, Dan, Dan. Come on, mate. Moira goes wide. Finds a nice run there from Marabe on the right-hand side. And as I said before, played a bit Back of center. Foot. Should be looking to get that quick pass away. I was play the balls are a bit too slow this afternoon. That's just bad football. Bad football as he tries to get a miracle ball Knock away on. on the side. Knock on, touch the kangaroos. The touchy called it. Oh, the Cornwalls have lost there. They've just got another set of six. That's why. But here we go. There half it time. is, uh, half time. Okay. And the score this afternoon, Australia 18, PNG 4. Oh. As we go to a quick break and come back with uh, some more action from the uh, PRL this afternoon. Here we go with our stats. and. Uh, as you can see, scoreboard, 18 points to four in favor of Australia. Penalties, uh, Australia one, Papua New Guinea two. Uh, the scrums two and PNG four. Handling areas, this is probably where the quality of the games uh, went on the downer a bit. Uh, six and uh, seven to PNG. And uh, there's an interesting stat there and uh, probably goes to show why the scoreboard is as it is. Missed tackles, 12 and uh, Australia with six. A, a stat that they don't have on there that's been um, very telling in the first half is the uh, amount of offloads and line breaks, Julian, and uh, obviously in favour of the Australian team, you can see it on the scoreboard. Yeah, obviously, Appy. I mean, uh, Felice Mateo has been picked for one reason of his right arm, right arm uh, uh, offload on the, on the left-hand fridge, and two tries have come out in the first half. Keep in mind they're only up 18-4, which is three tries to one, so two have come out of Felice. So, um... They've obviously got to start marking up on him and, and maybe do their homework a little bit better prior to the game. Here we go, looking at some of the highlights here of the uh, first half. And it was that sort of a, a first half that was a pretty good indication of uh, what was to come there. That was the kickoff and uh, not really organised the PNG team. And uh, Adrian uh, Lamb, the coach for the, the team, would have been pretty disappointed. The contact's been pretty big out there. Some big shoulder, shoulders put on. And uh, it's always very spirited. Here was a, an early opportunity for the PNG boys, but unfortunately, uh, nobody was there to claim it. You can, see yeah, the you can see the Australians there in the highlights. They're getting three and four in on the tackle, Happy, and that's slowing the Kumbles down. There goes Felice, hands, pass, pass, six points. There we go. As easy as that. Bo Ryan brings it around. As I said, he's a crowd favourite. And have a look at this little work here. And the crowd absolutely love that. 
and for the PNG try, came in on the right. Nice quick hands here by Richard Campbell. Find some space. And uh, I think the PNG team, Matthew Puke, really enjoyed scoring that try in uh, his first outing for the PNG team. As we wind up our highlights. And we go to a quick break and come back with the second half action. We'll <laughs> 